Good morning, my friends. Thank you so much for being here. Today is day 21 since I arrived to paradise, aka Hawaii. Life is quiet, life is simple, peaceful, and my days are filled with lots of walking, gardening, filming, and home improvement projects. This morning, I woke up at 4.30, and I'm planning on going to the ocean cliffs and hope to have a chance to see the sunrise which the east side of Big Island is famous for. You never know if you get to see the sunrise or will there be a morning shower right at the time the sun comes out and stealing the shine and moment away. I was so happy to see that sunrise was able to show off her beauty. It was a perfect time to do a little stretch yoga in the best setting worldly possible. is gonna go to this place called sand dunes and it's so beautiful but I always get this really strange feeling when I'm there all by myself because it's so quiet and so secluded that my brain automatically says danger danger and I don't think there is any danger but since they're going they're taking me with them and I'm so grateful and I'm so excited I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out an old pen And wrote something for me Walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he wrote I said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine now you've got questions on your mind. Life is gonna happen. Today I am in a place called the Sand Dunes. There's an area where a lot of four wheelers come over to run around, and it's really fun. What it is is a very secluded area in the jungle, surrounded by ironwood trees. I was lucky enough to be invited to go along with one of our friends and I'm so grateful because I would have never known about this place. I look all wet <laughs> because we got rained on <laughs> and we got rained on so my hair and my clothes are completely wet. Forgive the look. When we got rained on, 
we <laughs> kind of tried to hide in this cave right here. It gave us some refuge. It was better than nothing because we are still both very, very wet. Hey, dog. Excuse me. After that heavy patch of rain passed, my friend set up a hammock and relaxed and took a nap. And me? Well, I went to explore every inch of this beautiful land of enchantment. The sun came out and made up for the lost time and did some extra magic to all the colors by rinsing everything and restoring the vibrant colors of the trees, the sky, and the ocean. The contrast of the terracotta colors of fallen ironwood tree needles against a very vibrant green of these magnificent hala trees and other leaves against the blue sky and the turquoise ocean is incredibly beautiful. And the texture of those fallen needles covering all the jagger sharp lava rocks like a soft carpet making it so inviting to walk on all of those paths. It truly like being in sort of a Narnia. Well, I eventually learned why I got such uneasy feeling about being there. I was told about the story of a couple of brothers bike riding around those high cliffs one evening when it was getting dark. Sadly, one of them goes over the cliff to his death. His brother went to help him and he got critically injured as well. So I'm guessing the uneasy energy I was picking up on had something to do with this tragic story that happened not that long ago. This is gonna be not so fun crossing to the other side, but I'm gonna do it. Very jagged rocks and they crumble oh, under your feet. this road there's a tiny little pathway behind that if you go hello you'll see a beautiful cliffside with magnificent ocean views so let me show you I was walking in the neighborhood one day and I saw this little path and I was so curious to see where it leads to most of these paths are dense and overgrown with hollow trees and other shrubs but that day it looked like someone literally cut a path out of it well, thank you, whoever you are. When I reached the end, it was like all of a sudden, all the angels started singing at the same time. So I sat there and I could have spent the entire day looking at this view. And now it has become a usual place I go to when I go for a walk. Good morning. 
is an exciting day or at least <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. I was in Hilo yesterday and I got a few plants to plant around my my yard and I'm so excited because these are the kind of things I can never find in San Diego. So to start off with I got Alocasia Hilo Beauty, Alocasia Waikiki. Look at these beautiful leaves. You can see the shrimp plant and a corcora and a bunch of other things. Digging in this type of uh, soil here on the island is not an easy thing at all. You cannot use your shovel. You have to dig and every few seconds you come up to a big, big rock because it's basically all lava rock down there. Not a whole lot of soil. So I have to figure out a way how to deal with it. See the size of rocks in here? Remember I said <laughs> you can't use a shovel? I'm surprised. In this area, it's letting me, so thank you, thank you. I'm gonna use it. wondering why am I always kind of look like I'm naked in Hawaii but well, believe me I wish I could tell you how hot and humid it is wearing anything just makes you sweat so profusely I think in half of the footage I take my face is shiny and because I am just wet I am wet with sweat that's what summer is all about, right? And I don't have air conditioning. I have fans, which is a godsend, but no air conditioning. I think I can survive the summer without it. Strains of between these two homes here that leads to the edge of the water and I have gone in there several times would you like to see it again? <laughs> all right let's go I often think if some of you out there cannot travel to Hawaii for whatever the reason, let me be the one to bring Hawaii to your living rooms and your screens. I love taking you with me so you can see all the things I see and enjoy them vicariously through me. Thank you for coming with me through this journey and please take good care of yourselves and I will see you again in the next video. Mahalo!